Thank you very much. Um, uh, thank you for inviting me and taking me here as well in this uh, webinar. Um, it's a pleasure. And, uh, you know, yesterday we, we launched with our, our, our announced the third circular economy playbook uh, with in cooperation with uh, Nordic Innovation. And actually that was that will be launched next uh, month by, by Nordic Innovation as well. So I will give you the key. Uh, key, key takes from from that playbook and also about uh, how to create viable and and uh, sustainable business out of uh, circular business models so that has been the question has been raised here as well and actually this is not so new the fundamental place in the history and and when the earth was born uh, if mother nature would create the uh, process it wouldn't create waste that is the starting point and i think that the also, the uh, industrial ecology is the fundamental for the circular economy. But now we go beyond. And how do we do that? I will. OK, next, please. Sorry, I, I'm not sharing. So uh, 2015, when we did the first studies for Finland, actually, what are the potentials for and, and, and benefits of circular economy? And, and what are these business models? They were these companies were like pioneers globally and in Europe. Caterpillar with reman, uh, re remanufacturing, also Bosch have um, uh, components that they are uh, remanufacturing. And revolutionary maybe was this Michelin, which is selling uh, tire as a service instead of selling tire. And, 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 and fourth one, which has been there already for, for decades, is, is Rolls-Royce, who is selling uh, engines. Uh, by also based on uh, uh, performance. So this still the ownership stays in the product producer and the life cycle comes very, very long. And, and, and the, the idea here behind is that you actually get profitable revenue, revenue streams by ongoing fees instead of one sale. That's the sort of thinking behind also in, uh, next please, in, in, Okay, so this is the, the all right. So we have the same. We have also pioneers, like was mentioned in in Finland, like Tam Turbo and Konecranes and 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 many others. So the question was, how about SMEs? How can we do the viable business cases out of this if the waste or side stream is not in the core of our uh, uh, business? So first of all, we we created one. Uh, circular economy playbook for manufacturing industry with tech industry F federation in Finland and the second one we did for the chemical industry and and now yesterday I told you we we uh, announced the third one which is the circular economy playbook uh, for Nordic industries but there are cases and this the whole method is 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 the same actually maybe there is some uh, uh, approaches more on on Nordic, but it's it's a global global method. Next, please. So here it is. Uh, we have heard all why we need uh, the sustainability sustainable uh, customer centered uh, solutions are needed, and 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 actually the uh, very fast uh, acceleration of technology and and data uses of data has made it possible for us to, to create new business models. And, and uh, the opportunities are there. It's based on the inefficiencies, what we have in our present value chain and unexploited customer engagements. So what are, so you have to find tools to address these inefficiencies and to find the new possibilities. And, and we have these new business models to cover those. I will tell you a little bit about those more. And then you have to see out what are the capabilities you need in order to run the new business and, and adapt these new business models. What are the technologies that supports and how do we make this journey? It's a huge change of mindset, values and behavior that it's needed. And also you need an, a huge ecosystem to help you. So this is not the single company business models, but you have to orchestrate or be part of the larger ecosystem. And then we have examples like 100 in, in each of these playbooks. And then we have the tools where you can assess what you are doing, assess the business model, assess the capabilities, assess the technologies. Next one. 
so here you have the present value chain and as you can see there are a lot of inefficiencies for example we are talking about the, the prolonging the life cycle and usually we kill our product uh, too soon but the one which is nowadays I think the most promising and, and many companies are looking for are these the fifth one the unexploited in, in uh, customer in engagements there are a lot of possibilities which you haven't used and once you take different part of your people from different functions and processes you start to realize what we could do differently what could we actually serve the company how can we create value next please so here are the business models and 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 i think that you all know about these sort of uh traditional ones as you thought uh, how do you recover reso uh, resources uh recycling reusing and and such what type of inputs you have do you have bio base do you have recycled what type of logistical system you have what type of procurement sourcing how do you do how do you handle that is it sustainable for sure and and also nowadays the product use extension like we we thought the maintenance services uh remanufacturing refurbishing and such these start to be like a standard operation procedures already in the businesses and and and, and, and industries but these two big the, the two ones here sharing platform from product as a service next one are those which actually uh creates revenue new revenue streams for the company and these below are the those one which are rather traditional already so these are more like cost driven uh, business models where you can minimize the cost that you are you have in your processes the use of material and 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 uh, the way you are producing and, and these above ones which is always about the customer and and the product use phase of in in the value chain next one so this is not just a uh, theory or science fiction this is actually globally starts to be f uh, a mainstream at least with these very traditional business models like i told you and even this product as a service is very attractive for many many companies nowadays as well because now what is required there are the challenges with the financing and the cultural changes and 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 all the change of the value chain where you need the uh, many partners and such so this is expanding very very heavily throughout the world next one and like i told you it, it isn't uh, business as usual you have to change the way you are thinking you have to change the way you are doing so you need you have to change the way you are handling your customer and 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 and, and de deliver value and and how you handle the resources and above all strategy and leadership we need to change that as well and and how do you manage and organize uh, the the uh, ecosystem activities and 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 run your businesses with the whole ecosystem next one and this is uh, the other thing is is technology change which has been very rapid and it's not only about the technology and 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 big data as such you have to also consider how you handle the data how you manage that how you use can data be an asset can you get the new business out of sharing the data you have and this is a huge possibility and an opportunity for companies and, but there are many challenges of sharing data because usually these business of, of business ecosystems are very closed and and like Jurgi Katane said this is one also an, an uh, a big one of the biggest themes in Citra as well data economy and 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 also the need to in uh, in uh, um, integrate that with the circular economy because actually all you need in order to be more efficient to have a new business model to operate more uh, uh, to optimize to to have predictive maintenance whatever you do you need that information you need to gather the data so you could say that actually the data is the third dimension of circular economy the next one and here are I, I put then like a, how this world has changed we have many sophisticated circular business model nowadays this is nordic 
very, very nice business cases where actually all of these players have are using the uh, three divers of circularity, which I said, of course, sustainability, the technological change and the customer, how you create value to customer, changing from selling one engine to ongoing revenue streams from the customer and, and create value like power per hour from Kongsberg how optimizing the fuel consumption, how, how sharing the, the um, garden appliances, not so that your customers doesn't have to uh, own them or repair them. So you, you get out of the, uh, all the idle in the garden. Next one, please. So, uh, so in order to you know, wrap up this all, so what, what is actually these uh, value creation dimensions is more revenue. Uh, you save the cost, it's cost saving and risk, uh, risk re reduction. These are sort of traditional uh, drivers for sustainability actually. But now more and more you need the purpose. And that's also very, very big driver for companies to start to change their businesses towards circularity and brand enhancement. Next one. And, and it doesn't happen overnight. Usually the companies start with the, with the internal processes, with operational, changing the operational models. Maybe they have a uh, uh, value uh, quality system, sorry, environmental quality system like 4001. Maybe they have recycling system, take back systems. They have energy efficiency program. They are capturing CO2. But the next one is when you start to involve your customer with this and start with the business model. And third phase is that you start to work with the wider uh, bunch of companies when you start to create these new business models within the ecosystem. So everybody's doing something, but the devil difference a lot with the ambitions and the level that they are, they are right now. Next one. So, like I said, we need the huge changes and, and the biggest one is the mindset. The value, values have to change the, the, the mindset. We need the big mindset change. And of course, we need to change the way we behave. Thank you very much. And I like, like I said, this was a snapshot for seven minutes, but please download the playbook and read more. And we are more than happy to tell you this because usually it takes like five hours. So now it was seven minutes. So thank you very much.